Hey guys, S2F Gaming here, and welcome back to what could be the finale of the Fjordr series. Now, today we will be taking on Fenrir, but first things first, as you guys see in the background, in between episodes, I have went ahead again and defeated all of the Guardians in order to get their Dermises, and I want to go through them one by one because some of them are a bit of a buggy mess. And speaking of buggy mess, let's start with Bela. Bela is probably the worst out of all of them, because first things first, I will mention, this is on a medium taxidermy base. Bela works better on a large, but for the whole setup of this place, Bela's kind of stuck on the medium. Now, first things first, um, as you can see, the pole is way in the front of the taxidermy base as opposed to it being in the center. Most of the poses with Bela cause Bela to actually be inside of the actual thing, so you don't get a lot of the full animated or the full... Um, pose or anything like that except for this one this one you get 95 percent of it so this is the one we're going to be using now here's something interesting that i've noticed and i think this is why it's such a buggy mess now if we pop in here we can see that it gives us three options it gives us a saddle costume and then obviously the dermis now this only happens when you have creatures that you can tame. As you can see with the fairy, we have the same three options. Costume, saddle, fairy. We can check the shadow main. Should be the same thing. One, two, three. And then check the megatherium. One, two, three. Now, if we head over to the bosses, not so much. They just have the placement for the dermis because you shouldn't be able to put a saddle on them. You shouldn't be able to put a costume on them. It's just the dermis and that's it. I think the bug and the issue is that the way that Wildcard set this up is that the Bela is tameable. I guess it's assuming that it's a B and not Bela, and that's why we're getting the saddle costume and what have you. And I think that's where the issues are starting here. But anyways, moving on to Haiti and Skull. Haiti and Skull are the best looking ones. The sizing of them is perfect. The animations or the poses are perfect. It all works out with these things. They look absolutely amazing. Um, they got some really, really great poses. They got like a running one. They got just a normal standing one. They have um, obviously kind of like a little, um, I don't know what you call this, but kind of like a little stretch, I guess. I don't know. But this one, the howling, I think looks the best with both of them. And they look absolutely awesome. Now, if we pop in here, you can see that you could also put a saddle on them, which is kind of cool. I don't know why that's happening, but... Overall, out of all four of them, those look the best. Now, Steinbjorn. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with this thing? First of all, look at the sizing of it compared to everything else. And here's the funny thing. Steinbjorn doesn't really change too much of size if you put him on a large as opposed to medium. Makes no difference. This is how small the thing is. And it's really, really funny. On top of that, Steinbjorn does not have any poses either. I'm pretty sure this is the at, this is the actual skin and everything from the modded Steinbjorn. It's not even the Steinbjorn that we have, which is really, really weird. I could be wrong. You guys can let me know in the comments below, but they got to fix these taxidermy things. But at the same time, if it hasn't happened now, I don't think it's ever going to happen. So out of the four... Two out of four is not bad, honestly. <laughs> uh, Haiti and Skull, though, look absolutely amazing. Uh, it might be Haiti and Skull. I don't remember which one is which. Bale is a mess. Steinbjorn's a mess. But, well, we'll see how Fenrir looks up there when we defeat it in today's episode, which is the plan, which is the hope. Let's get out of HUD. Let's head on over and take on Gamma Fenrir. And what dino were we going to be using? Well, it's actually in the background behind me, and it is one of my favorite dinos, so... Why don't we just use Shadow Mains for this one? Let's head on over to Green Obelisk and let's get this fight started, guys. That is right, guys. We will be using Shadow Mains against Fenrir today, which brings up the age-old question. Are you a dog person or are you a cat person? Now, personally, I will let you guys know I'm a dog person through and through. But today, well, I have to be Team Cat because it is going to be cats that are going to, going to seal the win for us. So let me know in the comments down below, guys. Are you a dog person? Are you a cat person? Let me know. No. Now, here is the strategy. Pretty much, uh, Shadow Mains just go in and fight as much as they can. We are going to try to stay inside of the rivers so these guys get their hydration buff, which is going to be huge. And we are going to be just sitting nice and peacefully in the back 
on the back of the Andrew Sarkis, which I will say is the unsung MVP of this entire series, let's be honest. This thing is absolutely amazing, and it is a staple for single-player series, I have to say. Um, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. I'm going to stand by it, though. Andrew Sarkis is a must-have. But anyways, we have ourselves a Uteranus, we have ourselves a Deodon. They will be following Shadow Mains because I want them in the fight, not necessarily fighting, but boosting them up and healing them up. They are not going to be following the Andrew Sarkis because we are going to be way far in the background. We are not doing anything for this fight, essentially. Uh, we're pretty much here just for the view and just to watch them do work. Let's put it that way. If we have to... I made a couple of advanced rifle bullets, um, a couple, I've made about 3,000 basically, so we can get into a piece of the action if need be, but really the strategy with the Andrew Sarkis is kind of lay off and watch them do the work. And finally guys, the plan is we will be taking on Gamma Fenrir here at Green Obelisk, Beta will be taken on at Blue Obelisk, and Alpha will be taken on at Red Obelisk. Uh, I don't know, I just wanted to change it up a little bit, basically. But, enough talk, enough all that, let's get into this fight and see how we do. I think Gamma will be fine. I don't know how the rest of the ones are gonna- can I- can I get in here, please? <laughs> I don't know how the rest of the fights are going to go, but I'm pretty confident Gamma's going to be okay. Um, now, in order to do this fight, uh, let's see if we can get on over there. Jesus Christ. Okay. Can, can, can I get this? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Shadow main tails everywhere. This is the issue. Um, can I get access to the obelisk, please? There we go. Okay. So, in order to generate... Fenrir, we need all three trophies, which is the Megapithecus, Megapithecus, let's try that again, Dragon, and Broodmother, and that is it, holy crap. All right, here we go. I think we'll be okay, but again, let me just make sure, you know what, I just want to make sure that everyone's 100%. Um, let me just make sure you are on, okay, you are good with the group whistles, that's fine. And you are good with the group whistles. You're on passive. Everyone's going to be on um, passive for now until I whistle them in. Okay, I think we are good to go. Okay, no more talk. Let's get this going. Green Obelisk, Fenrir, let's go. Okay, let's get on over to the Andrew Star. Oh, God. Okay, okay. How was I able to get through this before? No problem. Oh, Jesus. That's not good. All right, there we go. Let's make sure. Courage mode. And passive heal. Perfect. All right, here we go. So we are inside the Andrew Sarkis. I think I'm just going to whistle everyone over to, like, just that spot there. Maybe a little bit further up. And we'll kind of keep going until it aggro's perfect and let them just do their work. We're going to hang out here and just watch everything happen. <laughs> it's not going to be entertaining to watch from here, guys. I understand. But at the same time, I do have to watch out. Plus, oh my god, I'm actually really cold right now. All right, get in there, guys. Come on, guys. I'm seeing some big damage numbers, which is good. Like, we're seeing the 19s. We're seeing a couple fives, 600s. That's because of the water buff. That's because of the Andrews, the Andrew Sarkis. The, um, just everything. But, oh, my God. What the hell is that? <laughs> God, that's absolutely nuts. The good news is we're out of range. So, we're fine. I really don't want to use... Oh, my God. The Uranus is just getting, like, thrown everywhere. Oh, my God. Come on, guys, get through this. They are looking really, really good. Oh, my God. This is looking perfect so far. What I would like to do for the next fight is maybe lure them over a little bit closer this way. Just so everyone's in that boost. Oh, that's a lot of... Look at that. Oh, my God. All of them are, like, frozen right now. 
but we are doing work. Shadow mains are absolutely great for this. Oh my god. I'm also keeping an eye on my health because we're actually really, really cold right now. But I think we're going to be able to get through this no problem. I'll make sure my character is healed before we move on to beta. But we are looking good in three, two, one, now. Yes. Okay, let's get on over there real quick. Get everyone out of the way so I can quickly get this Dermis because why the heck not? Holy crap, that was really easy. What? The, how are you guys? Oh my god, you guys are not even damaged. Look at that. Oh, this is going to be a walk in the park, guys. I'll have to check them and everything once we get out of here, but I think this is going to be a walk in the park. And look at this place. Place. Oh my god, it looks amazing. Okay, I want to get this as a thumbnail. So let's go ahead and do this. Kind of slowly back. Oh, there's like little buildings and stuff on the left-hand side that looks so cool. But yeah, this looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Um, Yeah, we're cold right now. Who the hell cares? We are looking good. I. Oh my god. I'm really confident, but I'm worried that I'm really confident because we've had this happen before and things have went south real quickly. So let's get on back here. It always takes a little while to get out of these boss fights, and that always gets me nervous. That, what? What? Why are we back here? Uh, OK, that's really weird. Oh, we got to do this fight all over again. <laughs> no. So of course this was going to be the hint, this was going to be the surprise for later in the episode but now that you guys have seen it yeah I'm breeding up direwolves and stuff in case uh we do end up defeating Fenrir and everything um we can basically have these guys ready to go for us but anyways um all right so I guess we kind of turn back the clock a little bit here let me get prepped again and uh yeah I guess we'll take on Gamma one more time and see how the hell this goes And there we go once again. Oh my god, hopefully we don't get anything, uh, we don't end up having another problem this time. But let's go ahead and get another Dermis, and we should be looking pretty good here. But damage-wise, let's see kind of how they're looking this time. Yeah, they're all looking really good. How about the Uteranus? Because the thing is, it was basically going for the Uti the entire, yeah, barely any damage. Looking good. Um, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this before, the reason why I called the um, Uteranus Gamma and the Deodon Gamma, I fully intended on them dying because I was sending them on in. So I have, in fact, went ahead and made a Gamma, Alpha, Gamma, Beta, and Alpha version of the Uteranus, and the same thing with the Deodon. But it survives, so we're actually going to keep it for the next fight and everything like that and see how far it goes. But overall, relatively easy fight. I have, in fact, also went ahead and put on a little bit of fur armor, so my character isn't going to take damage along the way but we're looking good hopefully let's not crash this time please game all right and we are back awesome okay let's go ahead and just kind of get the hell out of this i'm gonna have to go ahead guys and oh my god <laughs> <laughs> we got Shadow Man flying everywhere. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go ahead, um, cryo everyone up, bring them on over to the blue obelisk so we can go ahead and take on beta. So I will see you guys in a little bit. But first things first, do we want to check it out now or do we want to wait? I don't want to look at the stats yet. I think we're gonna wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna make you guys wait a little bit longer for us to check out the Fenrirs. Especially if we can defeat all three, we can compare stats between the 150, the 180, and the 225, which is what you get when you defeat Gamma, Beta, and Alpha. So let me get these guys set. I will meet you over at Blue Obelisk so we can take on Beta Fenrir. So, guys, here we go. We are at Blue Obelisk to take on Beta Fenrir. The only change I have made is I've actually kept the Deodon and the Uteranus, uh, the Gamma ones, back at Green Obelisk. I think they deserve the rest. Uh, we are using Beta Uteranus and Beta Deodon. Besides that, well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And honestly, I think we did really well against the Gamma Fenrir. I think we'll be just fine going up against Beta. So, to get this started... 
all you need for the beta fight is the beta broodmother trophy beta dragon trophy beta megapithecus trophy i think we're all good to go let's get started here we got 30 seconds um i think i've actually organized them a little bit better this time too just so i'm kind of not running around and trying to figure out how i'm gonna get back to the andrew sarkis um i want to make sure i think they're all gonna get in it looks really close oh crap looks like some of them are gonna get into the fight no i think we're fine okay we got 10 seconds here all right beta fenrir i think it's gonna go all right let's make sure we're by the andrew sarkis let's get it started Okay, that is a perfect spot for all of them to be in. So let's kind of get to our little perch over here. And that should be close enough. Maybe not. Oh, that's definitely close enough to get them started. Oh, boy. No, 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 no. I need them to stay here. Stay here. <laughs> and now go in, guys. There we go. Okay, this thing's packing a little bit more of a punch. Oh, they're all frozen right now. Oh, boy. Okay. See, a lot of damage numbers not going our way right now, but I think we'll still be okay. I think once the... Yeah, here we go. Um, I do need a couple of the... I need a couple of the Shadow Maids to come on over here and attack these wolves, because they are all just going after the Uteranus right now. Yeah, I need them to literally take out those Fenrirs. Perfect. Now just focus on Fenrir itself, or the bigger Fenrir. I don't know what we're going to call it. Mega Fenrir? <laughs> it has an actual name. I just don't remember specifically what it is. Holy crap. Uh, we're a little close there. And there goes the, the Uteranus again. Kind of jumping on up, enjoying the fight. Okay, this thing's taking a little bit more time to knock on down, but I am liking those damage numbers right now. Yeah, I'm liking this strategy a lot. They are all inside of the water, so they are all getting the hydration buff. I am not liking being this clip. <laughs> Just watching the Uteranus literally jump up in the air each time is really funny. Oh my gosh. But yeah, you can see... Oh my god, that's a lot of damage, that friggin' blast. And that's going against the Uteranus. Ooh, god. Okay. Yeah, that Uteranus is bloody already. Oh boy. Yeah, the Uteranus is going to die. Yeah, we may have to figure out a different strategy with the Uteranus because it is not doing well right now. Come on, Udy. Hang in there as long as you can, buddy. Yeah, I don't think having the UD up here with me works out the best. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Oh, boy. He's, like, really damaged right now. And that... Oh, my God. That... Whatever that is, that, like... It's that breath attack that's really just doing a lot of damage to it. But, yeah, we're definitely going to use... Lose Beta UD. Where is the Diadon, by the way? I wonder if I should get involved. I mean, I could. I have enough bullets. 3,000 bullets. Do I want to use it now or do I want to... Oh, yeah, look at that. That's just... You can tell the Yudi's the only one getting attacked by that. Come on, guys. Yeah, Yudi's done. All right. Well, game on, guys. Okay. Okay. Oh god, they're all gonna come after me now. Oh boy. <laughs> come on. Alright guys, just take him on out. I can deal with this, I think. I hope. Oh god. Okay, yeah, we are the biggest thing now, so it is just gonna come straight after me. 
Oh, that's not good. as I would have liked, but holy crap, we got through beta. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get all of the Shadow Mains over here. I don't know why... Yeah, what is the Deodon doing? Why did it not heal them as much? Let's go ahead and get this. Is there anything in your inventory? Oh no, okay, sounds good. I was like, oh my god, we totally lost some items or whatever from the Gamma one. Let's take a look at the uh, Shadow Mains though. Okay, so we definitely 100% they're okay. Why are you not healing? <laughs> okay, so yeah, your food is a lot less than the other one, which I think it just ran out of steam. Yeah, because it's got food in it. Like, I went ahead and just got a ton of cooked meat for this thing. Um, I think that's what... Okay, I guess we're gonna have to bring Gamma back, because I think Gamma... I think with Gamma, I focused more on food than I did on... I think I focus more on... Oh, God, please don't lag out. Okay, we're back. Okay, cool. Okay, so definitely lessons learned from this fight specifically. I'm pretty sure um, the beta one, I focused more on health specifically versus the food stat. I think the food stat is really what we need, though, because health-wise... Yeah, health-wise, it's fine. Okay, so maybe I'm going to have to go ahead and get Gamma ready to go for the alpha fight. But guys, whew, it's time. We're going to get ready for the alpha fight. Absolutely crazy. But as you can see, we have a 190 Fenrir. So, um, yeah, as you guys know, as you guys may not know, Fenrirs you cannot breed. So when you take on the Gamma fight, you get a 150 Fenrir. When you take on Beta, you get a 190. And when you defeat Alpha, you will get a 225 Fenrir. But let me get these guys back into um, their cryos. Let's head over to Red Obelisk. We have a little bit of things to fix like I mentioned, I'm probably going to bring Gamma over to this fight instead, and that is the Deodon. Um, We may even bring the Uteranus, too, because, I mean, the last fight went so well. Well, the first fight, Beta, eh, kind of so-so. <laughs> we'll see how Alpha goes. Let me get these guys situated, and, uh, yeah, we'll get the Alpha fight started here in a bit, guys. So, guys, this is it. This is what we've been working towards. Here is the final fight on Fjordr. We will be taking on Alpha Fenrir. But before we jump into that, let's go over the beta fight. Because, of course, there were a few issues that we need to address. So, once the Uteranus died, Fenrir basically just came straight after us. And if you guys aren't sure why, it's because of drag weight. Each dino has a specific drag weight. And when it comes to dino, or boss fights rather... The boss dino will go after the dino with the biggest drag weight, and in that case, it was the Uteranus. Once the Uteranus died, we became the target, and as you guys saw, it was very close. It was basically just a Hail Mary at the end, just trying to get through beta, and we need to make sure that doesn't happen. So, I made a judgment call, and it could either make this, or it could break the entire thing, and that is, well... We're going to be using two Uteranuses in this fight, because here is why. Like I just mentioned, once the Uteranus went down, Andrew Sarkis was the prime target. If we have two of them, the hope is that Fenrir will go after one of the Uteranuses. And what'll happen is, once it wears that Uteranus down and kills it, it will then aggro the second one. Or, it may switch back and forth, but regardless, it keeps it elongated, it keeps the fight going a little bit longer, and gets us closer to not only defeating it, but preventing our Andrew Sarkis to die, because 
Andrew Sarkis dies, we're kind of screwed. That is it, basically. This is... This is our lifeline right here, is the Andrew Sarkis. So, in order to make this happen, I do have to get rid of a Shadow Mane. So we are currently working with 16 Shadow Mains, 2 Uteranuses, 1 Deodon, and 1 Andrew Sarkis, which... I get it, we're going to be losing a little bit of DPS, but at the same time, I'm hoping this works out. I really, really am. Um, another thing, which when we jump into the fight, we'll talk about a little bit more. I think I whistled them to follow, or I whistled them to move a little bit too early, and I'll kind of explain that once we get into the fight, and we'll see if it's maybe just me overthinking, or maybe it does have a significant impact. But before we get started here, um, I believe this Uteranus is following this Shadow Main. This Uteranus is following the female Shadow Main. Um, Diodon is following this female Shadow Main here. I just want to make sure that we are all good to go. Passive, they are on ignore... Change to ignore group whistles. Okay, so let's check them all, because I thought I already did that. I did with the Uteranus. I did not with this Uteranus. Okay, good thing I checked. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and actually do the same thing with my Andrew Sarkis, just in case. But I think we're all good. I think we are ready to go. I'm really nervous for this fight, because... This could go south real quick, let's be honest, basically. Um, but we'll see what happens. Let's get into this. So Alpha Fenrir, here we go. In order to take on Alpha Fenrir, you need the Alpha Broodmother Trophy, the Alpha Dragon Trophy, and the Alpha Megapithecus Trophy. Before we do that, let's put all the advanced bullets into you. Just so I'm not holding on to it. It's one less thing for me to hold on to. That gives us a total of 2,749. And I plan on using 2,749 in this fight. We are going all out with this one. I want to defeat this thing. Let's get it started. Let's quit wasting time. Here we go. And I gotta make sure they're all turned on. Passive healing. <laughs> uh, courage. Courage. And let's put on the hot armor. And we're good to go. Okay, so we're facing the wrong way this time. That's not good. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so this is kind of what I want. I want to wait for the Uteranus to actually roar, and then send them on in. I want the Uteranuses in the back, essentially, is kind of what I'm going for here. Oh god, that's a lot of damage going at them. Oh Jesus. Okay. Well, we're going to hang out here, let them do their thing, and see how this goes. While we're at it, just go ahead and start... You know what? Let's wait. Let's wait. Because if we get close to the end, it might be better. Come on, guys. I feel like we are getting hit for a lot of damage right now. Can I get a couple of them over in the back, maybe? There we go. Okay, I want to circle them a little bit more than what we were doing before. I think that's going to work out a little bit better here. But it does look like that he is specifically going after one of the Uteranuses. So this plan may work out for us. But again, we'll have to see kind of what we're looking at here. Uh, I'm not seeing a lot of damage numbers. That's the... Oh, hello, Uteranus. <laughs> there we go. We're getting some big ones now. 1,900, 2,300... Uh, that's most likely the Shadow Mane's doing that, like, big pounce or whatever that they do. But I'm really hoping that basically this Fenrir is just focusing on one... Oh my god, one of the Uteranuses is really, really beat up already. Oh no, I could already tell on the side. Okay, maybe we just go... Do I panic and bring the bullets in already? No, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Go, guys. Go, 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 go. I think we're okay. I'm not going to panic just yet. Because it looks like a couple of the Shadow Mains are okay from here. I, I am starting to see blood on a couple of them. Ooh, 
Oof. But yeah, it looks like one of the new Duranises is gonna go down real quick here. And I'm wondering why, because it's the one in the back. Gamma's looking real good, though. Oh my god. Oh god. I didn't realize we were gonna get hit with that. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, come on, guys. Go. I think once we get to about three quarters... Okay, Alpha's done. Gamma is the one we're holding on to. Let Gamma be the MVP here. Come on, guys. Come on. Hang in there. Oh, shoot. They're both down. All right. We're going to need the Deodon to do some work now. Oh, wait. This is not good. He's going to come after me now. Oh, shoot. I just realized that. Oh, crap. Yeah, this is not good. I am completely stuck right now. I am literally stuck. Okay, why can't I run? Okay, if I could pick up speed... Maybe I can lose this guy. Okay, I just got Fenrir's coming after me. That's fine. We've already lost a couple Shadow Mains. Okay, if we stay really this far away... I don't think we're gonna be able to do it because I need the Fenrir's. I need the owl, I need the Shadow Mains back over by me. because I'm literally running around, but I'm doing the best I can here. Oh god, these shadow mains are falling real quick. Are the Fenrir's going to be able to get to me? left. It's literally just me at this point, and that is it. Crap, I didn't bring anything with me. There we go. Oh my god. Ugh. Damn it. Alright, I think I figured out what went wrong. I don't think it would have made a difference with the DPS and everything like that. Uh, we can go ahead and just go back to base at this point. Uh, let's respawn at bed. Oh, man, that stinks. All right, so at the end of the day, just shadow mains are not enough for this fight. At least I don't think so. At least on single player, you might be able to do it where if you have a couple of tribe mates or something on a server, you might be able to pull this off with shadow mains. I think we just need something that hits a little bit harder, and I have a couple of ideas of what we're going to use, but that is not going to be the finale, actually, guys. I really thought it was going to be. I thought Shadow Mains were going to be no problem. We were going to get right through. 
no big deal. But now Fenrir is a bit of a boss. Uh, we got through Gamma. We got through um, Beta real quick. We got through them pretty well. We had a couple of hiccups, but nothing too crazy. Alpha, though, damn. Right when we lost the Uteranuses, that was it. And I was not expecting them to fall both that quickly. Um, I think we just need to use a Dino that has a lot higher drag weight and just kind of see how that goes. And I have a particular dino in mind, but we are going to have to go out and tame a few of them. We're going to have to breed them. We're going to have to do all that. So, well, good news, guys. If you did not want this series to end, well, it's not going to. We got a few more episodes to basically get this done in. Uh, but first things first, obviously, I know this episode's going a little bit long, but I do want to show off the Gamma and the Beta Fenrir. Um... I was planning on showing all three. I was really assuming, maybe not assuming, maybe that's not the right word. Um, hoping that we were going to get through this and everything so we can compare all three. But um, we're going to compare at least two of them right now. We can compare the beta and we can compare the gamma one. So let me head on over to the red ob. Let me pick up the Maywing, bring it on back over to base where we're safe. And we'll check these guys on out. Now, we're not going to go out with the Fenrirs and the Dire Wolves and attack stuff and whatever. No, no, no. We'll wait till Alpha for that. But I do want to just see how they look and kind of run around with a Fenrir by myself and see what this thing can do. Well, you know, guys, we can't be too upset. We still got through Beta. Let's go ahead and put the Taxidermy down and see what this thing is all about. How does this... Holy crap. <laughs> well, we can't really see it, so that's a bit of an issue. Um, next pose. All right, so I think it has the same exact poses. Oh, yeah, it definitely does. Same poses as Haiti and Skull. Problem is, uh, the thing's huge. <laughs> ah, shoot. Okay, let's go ahead. I might just have to break the ceilings. It's no big deal at this point. Let's go ahead and demolish the ceilings here. Give this thing a little bit of a sky roof and see. Oh, my God. <laughs> The thing is massive. Oh my gosh. Um, I kind of wish in this series we had a Cinemacrop so I can just get like straight up to the roof and see what this thing is all about. Uh, let me run on back around. We'll get the Maywing. We'll get on the roof and see what this thing looks like up close. But my God, this thing looks... Oh my God. <laughs> you can just... Oh, I don't even have a spyglass anymore. Ah, crap. I'm going to have to go ahead and make that. Um, but yeah, this thing is massive. You just see it like sticking out of the damn roof. I should have assumed that was going to happen, but eh, it's still really funny. Oh my God. Look at the size of the thing. I gotta say it does look really nice though. Oh my God. The thing is massive. It's almost like the size of the actual creature. Can I go ahead from here? And do, no, I'd have to jump down there each time in order to change the pose. I think we're OK with this pose. Um, It's no big deal. But geez, the size of this thing is insane. I'm going to go ahead and take out this stone ceiling, too. Let me make sure I'm taking out the right one. OK, good. Um, But yeah, this thing is massive. Oh, my God. It looks really cool, though, I got to say. Um, I wasn't sure when Fenrir came out, kind of they did the video and everything on it. I wasn't 100% sure if I was a fan or not. Yeah, this thing... <clears throat> yeah, this thing looks... This thing looks really cool, I gotta say. Um, but anyways, let's go through the poses now that we can actually kind of see it. Uh, so first pose is just its normal stance. The second one is kind of what Haiti and Skull do, which is kind of that little stretch motion or whatever. Uh, third one's going to be the Howl, most likely. I was kind of hoping that they would have one that, like, maybe it's almost like him shooting out the, um, that little ice beam or whatever he does. I don't, I don't know the actual name of it, but that's the closest I can get to. Uh, we got a running pose and then just the normal pose. I think that previous pose was the nicest, this one, where it could potentially be shooting out the, uh, ice beam there or whatever you want to call it. Um, I just left the Maywing on the ceiling, didn't I? Ah, shoot. I'm going to have to figure this out. But anyways, we'll leave the Maywing there for now. Let's just have a visual of what the what the normal Fenrirs look like. Uh, we have a Gamma and we do have a Beta to go over. We'll check out stats and all that stuff. I'm almost positive in saying this. You cannot breed Fenrirs, which I think is kind of insane. Um, I think it would have been a really, really cool thing and a missed opportunity that... 
I think when you get these guys from the boss fight, if you do the boss fight again and you get a male and a female, you should be able to breed them, in my opinion. But maybe it's because of the stats. I don't know. But OK, so this is the gamma one. Oh, look at the eyes. Oh, it got red eyes. That's cool. So apparently with Fenrir's, the eyes is a color region. It's similar to what the Dinopithecus gets, interestingly. There's only a couple of creatures that have that, but this is a female Fenrir. Okay, and that is the Gamma. Let's look over the stats and get an idea. Uh, 4,500 in health, 1,287 stam, 900 in weight, and 242 melee damage. Now, what's interesting about this thing is apparently it's like a fridge. So, um, you can put your food, you can put everything that you put into a fridge, you can put into this guy. I believe this thing can also hold Nameless Venom. And what's the other thing that you can't? There's a couple things you can't put inside of a fridge. Wyvern milk, that's what it is. This guy can hold wyvern milk too, which is really cool. And it gives it like a big um, spoiling buff or whatever, or whatever it's called. But anyways, now we have the beta one. And let's see what this guy looks like. Okay. Um. All right. I, I kind of like, uh, I don't like the eyes on this one. <laughs> if I could get the red eyes from that one, I would have liked to have those switched. But... We got a male here, which really stinks because you can't friggin breed them. But it's funny that they get a mate boost like they get the mate boost, but they don't get a you can't breed them, right? Yeah, no, there's no option to breed. Oh, that stinks. Uh, but anyways, looking at the stats on this guy, five, two, five, zero in health. Wait a second. Oh, 45. I was going to say, I thought they got the same health. Uh, 1320 in Stam, uh, 960 in weight, and 301 melee. Again, not looking great, but no big deal. So let's see what this guy can do. So let's start with left trigger. What is left trigger? All right, left trigger did a frost bite or an ice bite. Okay, and I wonder if that's the one that if you do the ice bite... That will give you the defense, possibly, like that, like, spiky skin or whatever. Let's try right trigger and see what happens. So right trigger is just a normal bite. And yeah, guys, I can't put this thing into um, orbit camera because left and right is basically the um, in and out, basically, in order to, like, zoom and everything. It's not going to allow me to do both is kind of what I'm getting at. You can on PC, not on uh, console, though, unfortunately. Oh, my God, it's just really funny to see <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know why that's so funny to me. But anyways, um, now we will, on the directional pad, or directional little turny thing, I don't know what this is called. I need to learn what the heck this is called. Let's press down on it and see what happens. Oh, that's the ice thing. Okay, oh my god, look at the ice. That is cool. So apparently with the ice, this buff changes its armor, which it does. It changes it from 10 armor to 80 armor it looks like we're taking a little bit of a stamina decrease i think this thing doesn't get hit as hard but it does less damage too if i'm not mistaken i'm not entirely sure but overall this thing is really cool i gotta say now let's take this guy out for a spin do we want to take both out for a spin yeah screw it why not let's go ahead follow one let's go let's get the mate boost on top of it too and see what these uh two little bad ones can do i'm i'm curious to see how good the Alpha Fenrir is compared to Gamma and Beta um, Fenrir once we actually get um, get a hold of it eventually. I have an idea of what I want to use for boss dinos for that one. Um, I will give you guys a quick little hint. Uh, it's a dino we've never used before. Uh, we haven't used it in this series at least. I'm trying to remember if I've used it in any previous series. I may have, but... Oh, that's such a cool animation. Did you guys see that? So I ended up turning off the frost breath, breath because the stamina was way, way down. And it kind of just like melts away. That's really cool. Instead of it just going away 100%, it kind of just fades over time. That That's kind of cool. I like that touch. Uh, but anyways, let's kind of see what the damage output is. Again, I'm sorry, little dodo. Um, normal output, 210. Not bad. Again, it is mate boosted. But at the same time, 210's not too shabby. Um, I don't know if I want to go against the Bronto because I feel like the Bronto may uh, kill it, basically. So I do see a couple of Raptors, but I think the Stegos are going to take them on out. I really don't want to use this thing against the Stego or a Galley because we'll never catch it. All right, screw it. Let's go after the Bronto. All right, let's do the Roar first. Oh, it ended up attacking the, uh, the Galley, too. 
Interesting. So I cannot get Fenrir. Oh, never mind. I can. Here we go. Okay, so we are doing some good damage, let's be honest. Okay, maybe that's why. Wait, where did that 63 come? Oh my god, it's the otter. <laughs> okay, but that is really cool. I gotta say, um, I can just run around with this thing for hours and literally... I don't like the eyes. I really don't like the eyes on this one. I really wish we got the red eyes on this. It would just look a little bit nicer in my opinion, but... I can go on this guy for like an hour and everything like that. This is a lot of fun. This guy is awesome. But when we get the alpha one, it's going to be that much better. Um, you guys will have to find out what I'm planning to use. We are going to tame it up in the next episode. So definitely uh, take a look at the next episode on top of this one, obviously. If you guys did enjoy this one, make sure to smash that like button. And on top of that, if you're enjoying the R content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.